What is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech and I guess I'm not having enough here with this company Evercross. This is my third scooter as you guys know we already reviewed. The first 800 watt scooter in which I don't have any longer but I do have the Evercross S1 model. Today we have something similar to the Evercross S1 which is a 350 watt scooter 36 volts and uh, this one here it's actually a little bit stronger. So this one is called the Evercross EV08E. I can see it here on the side of the box, but it is not listed on the site. So this one here has eight inch solid tires. It comes with a max range of 20 miles. Now the S1 comes with a maximum range of 15 miles. If you guys already saw the review, I explained all that on that particular video. So yes, that one has a maximum range of 15 miles and it can do up to 15 miles an hour. So the hill capacity that this one has is about maximum 15 degrees, which is actually quite impressive. And it has a maximum low capacity of 265 pounds. The S1 has a maximum low capacity of 225 pounds. So the only reason I'm doing a little bit of a comparison here between the S1 model, which is the one wet back here, as you guys can see right next to the Yumi, it's because well that one was quite recent and they both had similar prices they both have similar specs but this one is definitely more for heavier adults so yes it's a pretty cool scooter it comes also with electronic braking without further ado let's crack this open so having electronic braking in my opinion is actually quite cool so the box comes here somewhat reinforced for some reason and you get here with foam. Uh, this one here is about 26 pounds. I see already the carrying bag. Uh, so yes, uh, 26 pounds approximately. And yes, here we have that carrying bag. Uh, I've seen some unboxings to where they have it on top and this one was at the bottom, not a big deal. Uh, we do get the charger. Right here we can see this is actually a 48 volt, 1.5 amp. Uh, charger very cool. It is actually similar to the one that we already have I know I mentioned 48 volts, but it's actually 42 volts. So excuse me for that uh, 8 inch tires and from what I can see so far this one also comes with uh, Solid tires. They're not inflatable. So here on this mechanism I just noticed that the rear fender actually holds the whole handlebar here so that we can carry it It doesn't snap on it only snaps on here from the back side and not from this side over here as we are used to. So all we have to do is just press it down and then here we go. Okay. And that's it. It is that simple. I notice here that the charger for this one is located right here on the upper side. With the S1 scooter, we have it on the side as we typically see it and this one the motor is on the front side we don't have a motor on the rear side uh, let's see if we have a kickstand somewhere here it is and it is a spring powered kickstand very tiny and the handlebar here is actually adjustable now we simply lift up here okay so looking here at the stem we can tell that it is adjustable we have two positions already on here so that's really cool. All we have to do is just press on it. This is the highest position. And I gotta say that's uh, actually quite fair here. I'm standing on it right now and that's actually quite high already. Uh, it does come with uh, springs on the backside, a uh, spring suspension. I can feel it. And we have another spring here inside, which is located on this uh, main tube is what I call it. There's a spring inside and that's how your suspension works on this particular scooter. There is a cover here on the display in which we can remove and it looks like this. So this is also great for uh, transport. And here we can see the throttle, electronic throttle and the electronic brake just like we saw with the Evercross S1. 
Here for the controllers, it's actually quite cool. I already turned it on and I took a glance at it. So this one doesn't have any keys and all you have to do is press and hold here the power key until your display comes on. And luckily for me, this thing came fully charged, which is great. So if you look right here, we have different sets of buttons. We get one, which is the horn. And this one sounds uh, kind of funny. It's just like a little beep. It's not even that loud. So that's supposed to be your horn. And then we have here the set button. Now the set button here gives you trip. If you press it again, it gives you the odometer. Then you have the RPMs, the voltage, the distance traveled. And then we get this, which I don't know what it is. We have the time traveled and it goes back into trip. The next button we have is here the headlight. And this is what the light looks like. We also get a rear light. Okay, now for speed, we have echo mode. Then it goes into drive mode. And finally, we have sports mode. Keep in mind that we do have cruise control with this scooter. All you have to do is press and hold the throttle with a steady speed for about five to 10 seconds and it'll automatically trigger the cruise control. The handle grips, they also come out. So there's like a little button here. If you press it, they fold like so. We are ready to head on to the park, uh, test it out and see if this thing is really worth the 440 bucks. All right guys, so here we are taking off with the EV80E, I believe it is. It has a long model number. I know I mentioned it before, but at this point I sort of kind of forgot about it. Very cool scooter. Uh, definitely faster than the S1. Now, what I did notice about this model, for sure, is that it squeaks more than the S1. And I think it has to do because of the suspension on the back. It likes to squeak a little. I will try to, to grease it up when I get home and see if that helps. But yes, I mean, so far out of the box, I, I barely uh, used this uh, yesterday. Uh, to test the S1, but um, yeah, this one definitely uh, squeaks a lot more. Uh, remember that the handles, they do come out, so this squeaks also a little bit. Pretty sure you guys can hear that. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, it is quite powerful. Right here in front of me, we have that hill in which I like to use uh, to test the uh, capability. This scooter has a max uh, incline of about 15 degrees. So this is definitely more than that, especially by the end. I would say it's more like an 18 degree. It is really steep. So let's see if it's able to, you know, bring me up there. Right now the battery is fully charged. And uh, again, we had that same 350 watt motor. So far we are doing about th uh, 14 miles an hour right now. But this here is about 10 degrees approximately. And right about here is where we start going to maybe like 15, 13 degrees. And here is where it starts getting really steep. So far, it is doing it at 12 miles an hour. So it is showing to be a little bit stronger than the S1 for sure, guys. And again, this is not a comparison uh, officially, but since I reviewed their um, you know, their S1 recently, that's why I am mentioning it. But you guys can see this one didn't even struggle, guys. I mean, I have it at the uh, at the maximum capacity, which is uh, the sports mode. And it is working well. Another thing about this one is that it has the same uh, system as the S1, which is the uh, cruise control. So if I hold it here steady at 15 miles an hour, and now I'll let it go. Let's see, I think I had to wait a little longer. I think it's like a minute or so. Holding it steady, right there. You guys can see that we went into cruise control. I am no longer giving it throttle. As you guys can see, maybe, both of my thumbs are up. I am not touching the controls whatsoever. So that's another great feature. You can do it with any mileage if you keep it at seven. 
uh, for a few seconds it'll it'll just stay there very cool and then of course here we have the uh, e-brakes let's see how fast we can come to a complete stop let's see here let's just hit it right now Whoa, this one is a lot more aggressive than the S1. I can tell you that right now, guys. I think that uh, mechanical and hydraulic brakes, they react a lot better than electronic brakes. But now with electronic brakes, you don't have to worry about maintenance, you know, changing pads or wires or, or adding oil. You don't have to worry about any of that. A few moments later. What I'm loving here about this scooter so far is the battery. It seems to be holding great so far. I've done about, I'd say just about two miles to three miles, give or take. And we still have a full charge. That was the same scenario with yesterday. See, I was testing the S1, and when the S1 ran out of battery, uh, this scooter was still saying that it had two bars. Now, that doesn't mean that it was going to last much longer. As we know, uh, you know, these battery meters sometimes they don't uh, read correctly. And what ends up happening is that after two bars, you go down like super quick. All right. Go off. And just like I said with the Evercross S1, this one is just so smooth. You know, you have scooters like that one right there, the, uh, the Yumi Y10 awesome scooter too but now the thing with that scooter is that you know at certain speeds you feel like like you're in danger with this scooter you don't feel that at all you're just relaxing that's that's the right word for the scooter you feel like you're just relaxing enjoying your ride and like i said guys there's nothing wrong with the yumi y10 or any other fast scooter you know everybody has different likes and i like fast scooters but sometimes you just want to ride in a very safe manner and just and just relax and chill. Well, this is going to do just that. I'm just letting you go faster, that's all. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that show off, man. Ah. All right. Don't worry. I'll be getting something faster soon. all right guys so we're gonna stop it right here well guys that is it for this video today of the evercross ev i think it's 80e great little scooter awesome qualities yes it does rattle a little bit but what i love about this scooter is the fact that the battery handles a lot better right now i put about five miles to six miles on this particular scooter and it is still handling great the battery has not depleted yet and yes it is a little weird to have that front motor but i don't know i, I got used to it uh, especially when cornering you do feel it you know you do feel that pressure on the steering wheel but other than that it is an amazing scooter especially at this price point with a coupon you can get it in the 400s that's not too bad considering what you're getting here uh, this one is better for those who are uh, in a little heavier this one can hold up to 265 pounds i'm 225 and it takes me up the hill very easily with this being said guys let me know what you think down below don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you guys on my next one.